Okay, what is going on, people? Finally filming the first episode of Meet the Athlete. I'm going to be basically doing this to, like, give athletes a bit of a voice, mm. um, introduce themselves for the camera, and hopefully build this platform up with loads of athletes. Sure. Big shout out to Jay for being the first guest. Tell us about yourself. Cool, yeah. So, I am Jay Thomas. I, I started athletics when I want to say 16, 17. It's quite late, to be fair. Yeah, I'm 23 now, for instance, so that means I've been doing it about six or seven years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I started a little bit late. I started like in like year 11 or like even I think just beyond that. Yeah, yeah, like college, isn't it? Then. Yeah. I've always, I've always run it. It's always been it. Yeah, yeah. And this, what? So 100, 200. Sprints, basically. Short yeah, sprints. one and two, yeah. Gonna get you in some fours though this season, aren't we? Yeah, I don't, I don't mind. If I've got to tap into some of them, I'll do them, you know what I mean? I guess, like, how come you started athletics? How come? I think it's like everyone else in the year at school, and you're like one of the fastest. Oh, all the, yeah, the fastest. So, like, school, okay. I think, oh, maybe, you know, it could be a good idea to get into it. So, oh, yeah, and I knew Georgina Adams from school as well, so she was like, come along and be a good idea. How, how come in like, you stayed in this long then? Seven, eight, seven eight years nearly? Yeah. yeah, wow, that's actually a good question. I, I never thought about this. I think what I like about it is I've played a lot of sports and I enjoy a lot of sports, but I feel like when it comes to athletics and sprinting, obviously in general, it's something I actually care about and want to get better at. Mm. I could play football forever, but I'd never want to take it serious or care that much about it. However, when it comes to this, I have more of a, a want to actually get better and improve it. It's a bit, more, a bit more serious to me it than just... It something like, to the brain, doesn't it? Yeah. It does. Cool. So we're just coming off the back of an indoor season now. <laughs> how, how was your indoor season? Um, out of 10? Out of 10. I, I know how high for it was, but I want to hear your opinion. Yeah. Um, I think, yeah, it depends on how you look at it. To me, 10 out of 10. And I'll tell you why I say 10 out of 10. That, I, I thought it was a 10. I thought it was... Pretty perfect. So actually, I did PB in the sixty and the two hundred. I didn't PB as much as and I probably. I had one hundred fifty. Yeah. And the three, yeah. <laughs> yeah oh, okay. He knows more than I do. Yeah, but yeah. no, yeah. So I PB at pretty much every event. I definitely, I do think I should have done better in the sixty. But I think because we haven't been doing speed at all, just the sharpness and because I wasn't gym correctly, blah blah blah. Like it just wasn't there. And that's fine. Exactly. But yeah. to me, that doesn't mean that it can't be a 10 out of 10 because to me, the real reason why it's 10 out of 10 is because I've learned from it and I know what I want to do after and how to... So it basically fixed me up quite well for the outdoor season. That's why I'm saying to me it's a 10 out of 10. You PB in every single race. That's, that's you do, you've got to be doing something, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You made semi-final at Champs as well? I did, yeah. So, yeah. 11 Champs, yeah. 2024 now. Mm -hmm. Targets. 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 What races do you want to make? What times do you want to run? Yeah, so... Have you thought about it? Too? I have. I had a, I've had a little think about it. And this is probably the most consistent I've been. Mm. And we have a really good group we do. But I think at the same time, like... Just that mental I just switch. want to be, I just want to be, I just want to be quick now. Like, yeah, yeah. I've, I've, I've definitely half-assed this whole track thing for a long time now. I do kind of want to be like, right, let's, let's make it happen. But yeah, my goals... They're a bit wild to be honest, they're a bit out there, but you know, if you if you reach the moon you'll get to the stars, you know what I mean? So, oh, oh, we ran thing, but yeah. Is it? Reach the oh, stars. Oh yeah, reach the stars, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah you know what I mean. <laughs> but ten nine nine. Ten nine nine. I know I, I I ran eleven four last year, I know it's a bit crazy, but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, you gotta uh, think about the other factors and you know, look like last year I was just like I went out a lot drinking a lot, uh, I wasn't taking it as serious as I probably should have done, whereas it's a whole different this time. So, yeah, 200. I know I want to get sub 11, so that means I should really try and run like a mid 22. Mm. But I would just like to break 23. I would like okay. a 22, yeah. 99. That would be great. I think for four, like a high 51. I'll take that. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll take a high 51. Wait, you got a mid, mid 51 in you. Nice, nice goals though. 10, 9, 9. Like, it sounds mad because it starts with a 10. Yeah. But if you think, like, if you do deep it, yeah. it's only knocking off like 0.3 seconds. And, Literally, yeah. Like, based on your indoor season. You know, yeah, um, yeah, exactly, yeah. Right, this is a bit of a, a deeper question now, but right. like, I think I've asked you this before, like, in the very first video I ever made, but is there anything you'd do or like you could think of that would improve? 
the sport of athletics, either for people competing like yourself or for people watching. Yeah. I think it's more just the uh, coverage. Do you know what I mean? Like more YouTubers. Well, yeah, more YouTubers exactly. Yeah. More people promoting it. I feel like it's just not the most popular sport, and I feel like maybe it's particularly maybe it might be like interpreted mm. in different ways, and maybe we. We've been interpreted to or we interpreted to other people. Mm. It's cool, there's a lot to it. Like there's so many different things you can do. And I like how it is it is like um it's yourself and it like if you don't do well it's because of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like I, I I think that that could help people get more involved in it. What is your best memory in the sport? Best memory? Pro yeah, sense. probably um Winning the, uh, yeah, the the league, league innit? Winning, winning, winning the Northern League, yeah. Became the best club in North of England? North of England, yeah. So that, that, that was cool. Alright, away from track. Yeah. You, you strike me as a guy with a bit of a life. Um, I'm, I'm keen on my fashion. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, I do, I probably do shop a bit more than sure. I should do. I, I like, I, you know, I've been, like, we, I, I went to the, the current well. Yeah, I've got some new trackies, come on now. <laughs> I've been definitely experimenting, like, wearing, like, cardigans and... I, I, you know, like everyone's got the classic tins, you know what I mean? But I've just been like, you know, I like, yeah, I'm definitely into my fashion at the moment, like, like buying new pieces and like making it into your own, not like trying to copy everyone. I like how in basketball and other sports, other yeah, sports yeah. like when they're walking, they're all like, you know, they're styled out, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, think, I think that's how it should be. You've got to balance training with a full time job. How do you sort of like figure that out? You've got to do it. You're on your feet as well for your job. Yeah. And, and you do coaching on top of that. Literally, yeah, I, I literally like on a Tuesday. Um, I'm up at six a.m. So I'm so I can be at work for about just before seven. Mm. I'll finish work at about quarter past three. I've got to drive back home and it's quarter to four. Yeah, and then I've got to get changed, get a bit of food in, and then before I know it, I'm at, I'm at the track again for coaching there around just before five o'clock. This guy is committed, and it shows you like the love for the sport. Like when you're in the sport, you kind of just, you make it happen. Like yeah, like. People are like, oh, how do you do it? How do you stay motivated? It's not even really a motivational thing, it's you just do it. Yeah. Like you just hit, like you just go, you get up and you do it. Like you be proactive. There's too it. many people out there like, oh I don't have the time, but everyone's got if time. You, yeah, if you make you, the like, time. make the time, you can do anything. So literally. That's it. That's pretty inspirational, you know. Like, I appreciate that. That's good. If getting into a bit like away from athletics here, but three people, dead or alive, you could go for one dinner date with. Okay. Who would you invite? Do you have any like jumping out at you or? I mean, you know, you gotta talk to the legend, legendary man himself, Usain Bolt. Okay. Do you know what I mean? I thought you'd have Usain Bolt on there, but you yeah. Have, you have to talk to the main man himself, do you know what I mean? Yeah, That'd yeah, be yeah. too cool. Pretty funny as well, I think. Yeah. I think um, Michael Jackson. I know, I know it's a classic. Michael Jackson, okay. I know, I know it's a classic, but, MJ. you know, my whole family, we all, we all like Michael Jackson. And obviously, he was just like a massive icon, wasn't he? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was mad. Like, and, um, I remember, like, the day he died. I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, was, I was remember, like, we had an assembly about it. It's like, yeah, easy. that never happens. Yeah. And then I think last one, and most important one, for me, anyways, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus okay. Christ, yeah, man. He's, he's always on my table, but I'd actually love to meet him, meet him, you know? Nice, nice. What food would you go for? What food? It's got, be, it's got to be Caribbean food. Caribbean, Caribbean food, food has to be always. Not, not Turtle Bay though. Nah, not Turtle like Bay proper though. Caribbean food. Nah, yeah, I'm talking proper, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm talking... Um, Coconut rice. Oh, all that, yeah, I'm talking... <laughs> I'm talking like curry goat. I'm talking... Okay. Obviously plantain, not plantain. Everybody plantain. out there in the state oh, of plantain. Oh, I said plantain. 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 Yeah, man. Learn something new every day, people. Yeah. <laughs> And then I think what other what other food were there? Can't be you know when I, whenever I've gone down to see family and stuff they've always got like corn soup on the street and stuff and it's good. Love it. All right, the next segment on this like media athlete is quick fire round. I don't know whether to call it the sixty second quick fire round or not, but. We'll see if we can get. Mm -hmm. We'll do as many as we can. If I edit it into sixty seconds, then it'll be sixty seconds. If not, just a quick fire round. Right, Jay, you've got the questions ready here. Okay. Let's go. Favorite brand of spikes? Nike. After that, I feel about that actually, but <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm asked it now. One hundred meters or sixty meters? Hundred. Mm. See, it's not a real race. Money or fame? Money. Indoors or outdoors? 
Outdoors. Free food for life or free drinks for life? Food. Are you shy or confident? Uh, I say I'm confident. Play safe or take risks? Risks. No risk, no reward. Biggest accomplishment in athletics so far? I don't even know, I don't think... Oh, I don't do this to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a, it's a weird one, but I think... Like, I haven't done anything crazy, like, cause I'm not quick with, not yet. Not yet. But I, my, one of my thing is, like, when I started here, I was, like, I was, like, one of the younger ones, but then I got pushed up to, like, the fast group straight over the older ones, so I thought that was quite... Nice. Quite a cool yeah, thing. What's one thing you want to do before you die? I have no regrets. If you were invisible for a day, what's the first thing you'd do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, enough said. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Cats or dogs? Dogs. Right, snog, marry, avoid. Potatoes, rice, and pasta. Okay, avoid potato. That can just go immediately. Potato. I'm snogging pasta and I'm marrying rice. So, yeah. yeah, pasta's deciding. What superpower would you want? We're sprinters, aren't we? Super speed. Super yeah. speed, yeah. <laughs> What's the last thing you watched? Last thing I watched, I, I watched Avatar, the oh, last wow. airbender. Mm. So good. What's the best thing about athletics? You're just constantly getting better in some sort of way. Even a setback can be an improvement. Mm. You say you have a setback and you become injured, the improvement you get from that is mental resilience. Yeah. What's the worst feeling in athletics? you feel amazing and you're not doing what you're meant to be doing. Would you rather run a PB or win a medal? I mean, you run, you run to win. Music for a warm-up, yes or no? I get it. I get it. I don't do it personally. I do. I have thought about doing it though. Snow or sun? Sun. Celebrity crush. Actually, I got this one quite quickly. You got this one for you. Yeah, I think her name is Star Keely or Star Kelly. She's from Diversity. Are you subscribed to the channel? Of course I am. Course. Do the same, guys. Subscribe. Last one. Mm -hmm. Make me laugh. <laughs> cool, and the final part of Meet the Athlete is what I'm going to be doing is setting up a little trivia quiz. So just five questions, and we'll get a league going. Who can get like the most points by the end? Do you want cards A or B? Cards, what, cards A or B? Yeah, you got, I've got two two decks right now. Okay, um, B. B. Okay. Question one. Without looking at my phone for the answer, right? What is the woman's 100 meter world record? 10.49? Correct. Oh! Who holds the men's 400 meter British record? British? Mm. Is it Hudson? Matt Hudson? Yeah, Hudson Smith, yeah. Is it? I'll give you that one. Question number three. How many gold medals did Jesse Owens win at the 1936 Berlin Olympics? Like four? Yes. Is it? <laughs> Question number four. Okay. After Roger Bannister, who was the second person to break the four minute mile? See, this is, uh, this is a bit out of my depth here, this is. He was Australian, if that helps. Uh, yeah, I've got no clue on this one. Oh, okay, okay. Or are you going to say well, that? Maybe question? I'll say yeah, that. Yeah, question yeah, no, yeah. Put the that. comments in below, you know. Yeah, who knows? For the comments. Three out of four. Okay. I think that's, that's pretty good. And finally, in a decathlon, what is the second last event? Okay, you can, you can have a guess here. Well, I have no clue. Do you know I wanted to say, like, I don't, believe even, I, don't, I don't believe you've been doing this or not. Javelin. No way. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> anyway, so, Jay finished on four out of five. That's pretty good. Oh, oh, yeah. You can be asking them the exact same questions. Now nah, I've got, they'll, they'll get. So that was section B. Oh, okay. oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's good. I don't know if anyone's going to beat that for a while. <laughs> right, guys, thank you very much for watching. That was me, the athlete. I hope you enjoyed this sort of content. Big shout out to Jay for being the first guest. And it's yeah. a pleasure, man. Thank you. Thanks for coming on. Yeah, Appreciate cheers. It. In a bit, guys. Yeah.